CERN is the European Organization for Nuclear Research. Um, it's based in Geneva in Switzerland, actually across the Swiss-French uh, border. And uh, our main mission is fundamental science. Uh, and for that, we, in the last few decades, we've been building large machines. Uh, the current large machines are the particle accelerators, uh, the biggest one being the Large Hadron Collider, which is a big uh, particle accelerator, 27 kilometers in circumference. Um, the end result of all of this is that we accelerate protons to very high energy, to close to the speed of light. We make them crash in well-defined places, uh, the two beams uh, of protons, and um, we build these experiments around uh, these places where, where we do the collisions. The end result of all of this is a lot of data that we have to process. So over the years we've built a large computing infrastructure to analyze and uh, treat all this data. One of the things uh, we've had in the last few years uh, is that we know we will have a big upgrade of our accelerators coming in, the, in four to five years. Uh, this will mean an increase of data uh, to something like 10 times the amount of data we have today, which is already quite big. We store something like 250 petabytes of data today. Uh, so we've been looking to new technologies, to things that can help uh, improve our efficiency uh, in our infrastructure so that we can dedicate more of our resources to the actual processing of the data. Uh, very often we have in big international physics conferences where uh, physicists just before those conferences want to do an enormous amount of extra analysis to, to publish their papers. So we have to scale to these peaks, which means uh, over committing resources in some cases. So one thing we want to do is to be able to have a more hybrid infrastructure where we have our on-premise infrastructure, but also we can uh, expand to public clouds and make use of these public clouds uh, temporarily when these peaks come up. Uh, one thing that Kubernetes uh, gives us is the full automation of the application. So it comes with built-in monitoring and uh, logging for, for all the applications and all the workloads that we deploy in Kubernetes. This is a massive simplification of uh, our current deployments. Using Kubernetes at the start, uh, with time, uh, we, a very popular uh, solution that also we integrated immediately was Prometheus. Uh, for, for uh, monitoring and alarms. Uh, it's something that is gaining popularity inside CERN. Uh, we of course rely on core DNS also for, for the DNS uh, resolution inside the clusters and uh, within the federation. Uh, so those are right now the main tools. When we started using uh, containers, uh, we evaluated different solutions. Uh, Kubernetes became quickly a very popular one in-house, not because we dictated it, but uh, just out of popular uh, popularity within our community. So we, we, we started betting more and more in improving our Kubernetes experience. Uh, we saw that there was a very strong community around it and we started seeing that there was support uh, by the CNCF uh, Foundation. We can take a, a good use case and uh, gradually increase the usage of cloud native technologies. This means that uh, both at uh, operational and uh, level and at developer level, uh, we build a lot of knowledge of the tools and uh, we build confidence on those tools without impacting our normal operation. Uh, and with this, uh, we, we feel more confident to increase the usage and uh, we get a lot more interest uh, from other use cases and people excited about uh, starting to use these new technologies. Mm -hmm.